Hey guys, it's Tyler from the Road Assist Department. Today we're going to go through a couple steps on how to change your interior fuses on a Freightliner Cascadia. Okay, in your Freightliner Cascadia, the fuses are located behind the glove box on the passenger side of the truck. Now you're going to need a couple tools to be able to change the fuses today. First thing you're going to need is a T25 Torx bit driver. You can get them at any auto parts store, Walmart, a lot of gas stations and truck stops will carry these as well. The first thing you're going to do is open up the glove box. You're going to use this to take these four T25 screws out. Now, on the top of the glove box when you pull it out, it's going to give you a diagram of what each fuse is and where it's located. Let's say you want to do the dash power receptacle. So you're going to say it's a 15 amp fuse and it's located at F5. So you come over here and find F5, which is going to reference you to what fuse location it is in the glove box. Now when you get in here, you're going to wonder where are the fuse is at. What you have to do is you have to take this rain guard out, which protects the SAM cabin from getting water in it. Now there's a Velcro piece of plastic over here. Once you remove that, you'll see the Velcro back here. It needs to go back on when we're done, so keep it off to the side. Now this rain gutter just pops up in the front. You pull it out, and there you'll find all of your fuses. Now, sometimes these little fuses are a little hard to get out with your fingers. So it's better to have a pair of needle nose pliers that you can get in there and pull the fuses out with. Now one way to check your fuse is you're going to look in here at this arch. If the arch is broken, that's a bad fuse. If it's not, your problem lies somewhere else. So check your fuses, be sure they go back in the right positions, and make sure your rain gutter and your glove box goes back in properly.